This is what lockdown looks like in London, a city which has declared a major incident so out of control is the spread of coronavirus. The fear is that not everyone is following the rules. Governments launched an offensive urging people to act like you have the virus. If it is essential to go out, remember, wash your hands, cover your face indoors and keep your distance from others. While many of these people are out for their daily permitted exercise, data suggests this lockdown isn't limiting public mixing as effectively as the March lockdown, and it's not driving down the spread either. Looking at how the park is today, I think people are tired of being isolated and just, you know, like just confined in those four walls. I think a lot of people think it's much less of an issue than it actually is. If it's not close to you, then it doesn't exist for some people. We have to take some responsibility for ourselves. I have responsibility for my children. They're actually very low risk. I'm a little higher risk, um, but I'm, life is about an element of risk. The most powerful messaging comes not from TV adverts, but from inside hospitals and people like Phil, a children's football coach. I'm struggling to breathe without help with oxygen and steroids. Uh, I'm a 35 year old man, healthy, sporty, with no underlying conditions. Um, but COVID unfortunately got the better of me. The public seemingly aren't buying into this set of lockdown rules as they have done previously. And there could be a number of factors at play. One is the lack of consistency in the rules between the nations. Another is a lack of clarity about what those rules actually are. Or perhaps there's just been a decline in that feeling of collective social responsibility. Police are enforcing lockdown rules more stringently. These officers warning people about sitting down in the park. We really are damned if we do and damned if we don't. So we're trying to find that middle ground. But there will inevitably be more enforcement because, unfortunately, we're seeing more people who are willfully breaking the rules. In Surrey, they're trying this, a travelling reminder of social distancing rules. They worry people from London are driving to beauty spots for exercise and bringing the virus with them. I think it is a balance, it's a sensible balance. I mean, I think 20 miles probably is not OK. Most people would be able to find some uh, countryside where they could, uh, they could exercise nearer than that. I think, I think, you know, this is about people being continuing to be responsible. Until mass vaccination can be achieved, the only way this virus can be subdued is by controlling human behaviour. And that is far easier said than done. Martha Kellner, Sky News.